Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys and bringing you guys some VHS tapes and some DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of as of Monday, November 20th, 2023. And in this video, I got six VHS tapes and 15 DVDs that I'm going to be getting rid of. Yeah, I'm going to be getting a getting rid of a lot of DVDs this time. Just about all of them are ones I'm going to be upgrading to Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray, but we'll get to those. But I'll point that was out when we get to them. But anyways, we're going to get started with the VHS tapes. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time and let's just get started. The first two VHS tapes I'm getting rid of are ones that just don't interest me. Starting with Saturday Night Live, the best of Chris Farley. I'm not a fan of Saturday Night Live and I don't even know why I bought this, DV this uh, VHS in the first place, but I just did. I do like Chris Farley though, but... Again, I'm not a fan of Saturday Night Live, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this tape. And this one was brand new sealed when I got it. October 6, 2003. That's the print date. Next up, in old Chicago, 20th Century Fox Studio Classics tape. Much like Saturday Night Live, this one just doesn't look interesting to me. And I'm just going to go ahead and just toss it out, I guess. 1938 film renewed in 1965. Just give it a sec. Let it focus. The 16th week in 1994, that's the uh, week and year code printing of this tape. Next up, Serpico. This one I'm going to get rid of and I'm going to upgrade to the Kino Lober Studio Classics 4K Blu-ray release. I actually still haven't seen this movie yet, but it is one I do want to check out. But again, I'm just going to upgrade it to the 4K Blu-ray release. Former rental from the movie studio. And there is no week and year code printing on this tape. Since this is a Canadian copy. Although it does have the uh, American sticker on it. But yeah. Next up. Ravenous 20th Century Fox Selections tape. This one I'm getting rid of. And I'm just going to stick with my Screen Factory Blu-ray release. Although this is a, an awesome movie and it is one of my favorites, but I'm just going to get rid of this tape and stick with my Blu-ray copy. But I will get it back if it's in if it's a demo tape or a copy with a much later print date. If there is a copy like that that exists. I'm pretty sure there is, but I'm not sure though. Uh, one sec. Um... Give it a moment. Oh, whatever then. The print date is July 24, 2000. I don't know why it wouldn't focus there, but whatever. Next up, The Sixth Sense, the exclusive video bonus edition. I'm going to get rid of this tape and I'm just going to stick with my Blu-ray copy. Although, this is a great movie, though. The Sixth Sense is a great movie, but I'm just going to get rid of this tape and stick with my uh, my Blu-ray copy, like I said before. Cartridge number is 4 out of 21. And the last one is a two-tape set, and the only two-tape set that I own, actually. Pearl Harbor. I'm going to get rid of this one and I might get it back if it's in better condition or I might just upgrade it to the DVD or Blu-ray release. I'm not really sure though, but I may get it back. We'll see though. But this copy is not really in the best condition, so that's why I'm going to be getting rid of it. Touchstone Pictures movie co-produced with Jerry Brock Humor Productions, although I don't think those logos are shown until the end of the movie. I don't think. I'm not sure though. That's tape two. That's tape one. Oh, shit. Um, anyways. Tape one's got a little bit of damage at the start. 
And the print date for tape one is October 27, 2001. And tape two was printed on October 31st, 2001, which obviously would have been on, would have been on Halloween that year. So I'm getting rid of this one and I might upgrade it to the DVD or Blu-ray or maybe get it back if the if it's in better condition. I'm not sure though. I actually haven't still haven't seen that movie yet. I hear mixed things about it though. So anyways, now we go on to the DVDs and there are quite a bit of DVDs I'm going to be getting rid of. Just about all of them except for one are ones I'm going to be upgrading to Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. So yeah, for the first D bit of DVDs we got... The Jurassic Park collection, which comes with all the Jurassic Park movies up to Jurassic World. I'm going to upgrade all these to Blu-ray, and I'm just going to get rid of this DVD set. Um, I don't plan on getting Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom or Jurassic World Dominion anytime soon, though. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is a piece of shit, and I actually haven't seen Jurassic World Dominion. I'm also not in a rush to seeing it because that movie looks like shit. And I also heard it's pretty shit. But the first four are ones I'm going to be upgrading, though. The first one's still the best movie in the, in the series. The second one I actually thought was a pretty good sequel, but not as good as the first one, though. I thought the third one was alright. I know a lot of people didn't like the third one, but I thought it was okay. And Jurassic World wasn't bad either, but it was nowhere near as good as the uh, the first movie. And I hated uh, Fallen Kingdom, too, and I still haven't seen Dominion, nor am I planning on seeing it anytime soon. But, yeah. So I'm just going to upgrade the first four movies to Blu-ray. Next up, Boyhood, the uh, Mongrel DVD release. This one I'm going to get rid of and I'm going to upgrade it to the Criterion Collection Blu-ray release. I have seen this movie once a few years ago and I remember it being a great film. And I will definitely check it out again when I get it on, on Blu-ray. The Criterion release, that is. Has an ad for the Holmes Men and Princess Grace. Next one's a classic, Edward Scissorhands, the 10th anniversary edition. This is a, uh, what year is this DVD? A 2000 DVD. This one, much like the others, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to upgrade it to Blu-ray. I don't think this movie has a 4K Blu-ray release yet. I don't think it does, but I am going to upgrade it to Blu-ray at some point. But Edward Scissorhands is a classic movie. Definitely one of uh, Tim Burton's best movies. Next up, Darkest Hour. It is a great movie, but this one I'm just going to get rid of. I might upgrade it to Blu-ray. I'm not sure. It's not a movie I would be in a big rush to revisiting again. Not that it's bad, but I don't know. It, it is a good movie. It is a great movie, though, and Gary Oldman's really good in it, too, as uh, Winston Churchill. But yeah, this one I'm just going to get rid of. Next up, 22 Jump Street. This one I'm just going to get rid of and I'm just going to upgrade it to Blu-ray, which I have the first movie on Blu-ray as well. Oh, excuse me. Columbia Pictures movie co-produced with MGM and original film. This DVD actually used to belong to my brother, but he gave it to me. But I'm going to just upgrade it to Blu-ray at some point. The digital code expired on December 31st, 2017. Next up is 28 Days Later. And you guessed it, I'm going to get rid of it and upgrade it to Blu-ray. And the next DVD is actually the seat wool, 28 Weeks Later. 28 Days Later is an awesome movie, though. And I actually got a... A poster of it hanging on my wall right there. 
So yeah. Here's 28 weeks later. I'm sure you know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just upgrade it to uh, Blu-ray. This is a pretty good seat wool, but I think I like the first movie better. I don't know, but it is a good seat wool. Next up is Lust Caution. This is the NC-17 version. I'm going to upgrade this one to the Kino Lulber Blu-ray release. Although this is a great movie. I actually watched it for the first time a couple months ago and I really, really enjoyed it. It is a great movie. It's from the same director from Brobat. It's this from the same director of Brobat Mountain, that being Ang Lee. But yeah, this is a very good movie. And I'm just going to upgrade it to Blu-ray. The next, uh, the next three are actually the first three Purge movies, starting with The Purge. I'm going to upgrade it to Blu-ray. I enjoyed this movie. It's a pretty good movie. Here's The Purge Anarchy, which is probably my favorite movie in the series. It's got some ad for some other uh, Blu-rays. I have Scarface on 4K Blu-ray and I have The Born Legacy on Blu-ray. Here's The Purge Election Year. Eh, this one's okay. It's not as good as the first two, but eh, it was alright. I haven't seen the fourth movie or The Forever Purge, which was the fifth one, but I've only seen the first three, but I still haven't seen the other sequels, though. But I'll probably get those eventually as well. But I like Anarchy the best out of all the ones I've seen. Next up is Split. This one I'm going to upgrade to Blu-ray. I have Unbreakable on Blu-ray. I mean, not Blu-ray. I have that one on DVD, but I think I'll probably upgrade that one to Blu-ray at some point as well. This one I'm going to get rid of and upgrade to Blu-ray. I have Glass on a Blu-ray, and that movie was a piece of shit. I did not like Glass. Split and Unbreakable are great movies, but Glass was a piece of shit. Next up, House of Flying Daggers. This one I'm going to upgrade to Blu-ray. And believe it or not, I actually still haven't seen this movie yet. I have had this DVD for over four years, but never got around to watching it for some reason. I don't know why. But I'm probably going to upgrade it to Blu-ray at some point. It does seem like an interesting movie, though, but for some reason I've never got around to watching it. It's got some ads for some other movies. I have Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon on 4K Blu-ray through the Sony Pictures Classics box set. Two left and then we'll be done this video. Next up is P.T. Anderson's There Will Be Blood. This one I'm going to upgrade to Blu-ray, as you probably guessed. This is a great movie, though. I've seen this movie twice, and it's definitely one of uh, one of the best movies ever made. And it's one of Daniel Day-Lewis's best movies he's acted in. Paramount Vantage movie co-produced with Miramax Films. And finally, the last DVD that I'm going to be getting rid of for this video, 
Turistas, unrated. I didn't really like this movie. It wasn't, well, it wasn't terrible, but eh, it was, it was okay. It was kind of like hostile, except in Brazil, and it's not billionaires chase, attacking people, but eh, I don't know. It was, it was, it was all right. Probably not one I'll ever watch again anytime soon, though, but that's why I'm going to be getting rid of this DVD. This side is the uh, theatrical cut, and the other side is the unrated version. So yeah. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, share the video with your friends, and follow me on my other social medias. Links are in the description down below. But anyways, until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye.